What is up, Pack Squad? Cracking Packs MTG here back again. We're going to do a box of Modern Horizons here shortly. But I kind of wanted to start this video a little differently because with the hype of 2021 coming out, jumpstart right after it. Um, Double Masters is kind of taking a back burner, believe it or not. And what I want to discuss is the VIP packs because I think a lot of people are kind of on the fence about that. They're either upset it's so expensive or they just don't know about it. This is just speculation. This is just what's going on in my mind. I think for that price tag, they're going to put some really special cards in there. Stuff we haven't even seen yet. Stuff you can't quite imagine. And I think it's going to kind of go the way of sports cards. This is a box of sports cards or a single pack at that. This contains three cards. And this one box of cards was $170. So we're going to open this and kind of see the way the sports card market went. And I can kind of see the magic market going the same way. Just to kind of get an idea of maybe. I don't think we're here yet. I don't think the VIP packs are quite this yet. But I think we're going to get a little sample of it. And I think we're, uh, we're going to be going that way soon. So like I said, one pack of cards with three cards inside of it, $170. So let's see how this starts out. All right, our first card is an autograph card, numbered, I think numbered cards are coming, to $299 of Kerry Wood. Our next card is a jersey card, or a relic card as it's called, of Eloy Jimenez. And our last one is an Andres Munoz autographed to 299 rookie card. So I kind of, I don't know if it's going to be exactly this, but we're going this direction. I can see maybe in the VIP packs, maybe some hand painted or hand drawn altars that are autographed. Could you imagine, just say for instance, silent clearing out of Modern Horizons. Is drawn by Seb McKinnon. What if you open a VIP pack that had a hand altered, full frame, awesome art, done by Seb McKinnon, numbered one of one? I think maybe that's where we're going. It's just that's that's just in my head. Don't hold me to that. But I can see that exact thing happening very soon. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'd be upset because I think that would be totally sick. So let's get this box of Modern Horizons open. I've, I've rambled enough. Almost lost the camera. I do that quite a bit. So if you've been with me for a while, get used to it. Or you're probably already used to it. I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. We're going to divide them up six ways. And then we're going to open them. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet... Make sure you do that and leave me a comment because that enters you into the random giveaway on Friday. And I give away all kinds of cool packs, cool cards, all kinds of neat stuff. And what I do is on Friday, I draw a random name with a random comment picker for every video I've done for the previous week. So lots of stuff given away. And these didn't shuffle up quite like I wanted them to. All right, we're just gonna stand this pile over here because that was very amateurish of me. And also, if you'd like the video, that helps the algorithm. All right, we're kind of shuffled up here, so let's divide these up six different ways. So what does everybody else think about VIP? Do you think I'm way off base or do you think I'm on the right track? I, I don't think we're quite, like with that pack of cards I just showed you, it's a, that's 180 bucks for three cards. I don't think we're there yet. But I don't think we're very many years away from that. I think VIP is going to be the test. It's going to be the first little taste, the first sample, to, uh, to see how the Magic players and the Magic market accept that kind of product. And me personally, I think they're just going to, we're going to gobble it up because I know I'm psyched about it. I've I pre-ordered a ton of it. All right, so... We're getting six people with six packs apiece. We've got John, Jason, Raymond, Nicholas, Brad, and Mars. 
up to bat. We're going to start up here at the top left with John and see what kind of Urza Rennie Sixy goodness we can get. Starting off with a Goblin Token, a Snow Covered on the Hall of Heliage Generosity. A very underrated card. A lot of people thought that card was really going to jump when Theros was released. And I don't think it's moved the needle yet. I think it's still just a 4 or $5 rare currently. The foil is worth even more. But it's still a very decent hit. So, not mad about that. A Snow Covered Swamp and a Reap the Past. Of course, there's a Reap the Past in every single Modern Horizons box known to man. And it's really, it's actually not a bad card. It doesn't see much love, but it's its a pretty powerful card. Boom! First Mythic. Hex Drinker. Looks like you just swallowed an egg. So, good first hit. And the good thing about Modern Horizons is there's enough hits in the Mythic and the Rare slot that if these got shuffled good enough, that the love gets spread around. So we have a foil construct. We have a winds of abandon. I thought this was a junk rare for the longest. It's like three bucks. Must see a ton of commander play. Second mythic, morph on the boundless. This guy just went up to like 15 bucks. Back to back mythic hits for John. Good job. Elemental. Oh, there's Wren. Snow covered mountain and a fiery islet. Woo! Three hot packs in a row. Shapeshifter. Mountain. And the queen of the bears. So. Finally, finally had a little bit of a miss. But overall, that's a good start. Jason in. Prayers going out for you, brother. Hopefully, we can get you something a little exciting here. Snow covered island and a seasoned pyromancer. That's our first. He looks like he would be the lead singer of a late 90s, early 2000s rock band or alt. New Age, Metal, whatever you want to call it. He looks like he'd be the lead singer of one of those bands that they played on the radio station that ended with an X. That's what I was trying to say. So, Mythic Hit for Aria Flame for Jason. Get those stacked up. I was hoping that was going to be something spicy, and it wasn't. I was kind of building the... Uh, Anticipation, and it was a miss. But we did start off with a Pyromancer, so that was very nice. Come back here, Pack. All right, we got a giant furry bear token. We got a super creepy guy. We got a Plains and a Force of Despair. Astrolabe, good uncommon. Or common, excuse me. and a Marriott Lasius Slumber. To be honest, I don't think I've ever even read that card. So let's stop. Take a minute to read this. It's a two mana legendary snow enchantment. Whenever Marriott Lasius Slumber or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you get to scry for one. The beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more snow permanents, sacrifice this. If you do, you create a Marriott Lage legendary 2020 Black Avatar Creature Token with Flying. Okay. So it's almost like the land. Dark Depths, right? That would explain why there's a Merit Lage token in the set. And a second Mythic. Echo of Aeons. That is a, another card that in the past month or so, another Asher Lave, that has went up quite a bit. What is this card now? Like 14 or 15 bucks? So that is a, uh, that's a spicy hit. One more pack for Jason here. 
Let's see if he can keep it up. Forest and just a sliver. Not a, you, you can never be bad about getting mad about getting a rare sliver. They're always those dudes are always playable somehow, some way in some kind of deck. Mainly a sliver deck, but all right, not too shabby, not too shabby. We're down here to Raymond. It's his turn. We got a really creepy dude with a bird, snow-covered mountain, and a waterlogged grove. That is another good hit for the rare slot. All these, what do you call them, horizon lands, that's what I'm going to call it, are relatively valuable. I'd say in the 6 to 10 or $12 range, maybe. I think they're a little bit undervalued. I think that's going to change eventually. And a call. That's a couple bucks. So nothing to absolutely blow our minds yet out of this stack, but just good, steady value. And that's where these boxes hold their weight. Because right now, I think the EV in one of these boxes is hovering right around $200. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. There is our boy Urza and just a Cabal Therapist. I don't know why his head is glowing orange, but it is. Dropped a firebolt. Spore frog. Cute little guy. Get this firebolt back up. We got a chiller pillar. We got a snow covered island and a bizarre trade mage. I think that may be the most common rare out of set next to the reap the past. Shapeshifter, Prismatic Vista, Winter's Rest, Winds of Abandon. Like I said, good steady value. Last pack for Raymond. Like to see one good hit for him. Really good hit. So let's see if we can find something spicy. More fun. And a Hogak, a Risen Necropolis. If this guy didn't get banned, that would have been a very spicy hit. All right, moving on to the next stack. This is for Nicholas. Let's see how we do. A sword, a swamp. Our foil rare is a Palashik Mons. With a Plague Engineer. That's a good little rare hit. And I'm not able to hold on to any of these cards today. It's like they're stuck together. Palisac Mons. Foil Soldier Token. With a Scrapyard Recombiner. And a Scale Up. That's a, Like I said, I can't hold on to anything. What is going on? Maybe it's just a finish on these cards. They kind of have that that finish there, if you know what I'm talking about. That pack was a little difficult to open. Maybe it means it's hiding something really nice. And just a Miss Syndicate Naga. We have an elemental, we have a force of despair, we have a snow covered force, and an on thin ice. Creepy zombie, skeletal island, and another spirit. What would you do if that was coming through your wall or floorboards or whatever he's coming through? Last pack for Nicholas. Come on, hit. 
Bear, Planes, Goblin War Party, and an Astral Drift. Oh no. I'm gonna have to send Nicholas out some consolation prizes. His stack wasn't that spicy. All right, this one is for Brad. We will see how he does. Shapeshifter. All right, here's what I was talking about. This is Seb McKinnon artwork. What if you got a silent clearing, hand altered, hand sketched, hand painted by Seb with his autograph with a little one on one slash at the bottom of it there. There's only one of those done. How epic would that be? I think that's where we're going. Maybe in these VIP packs, maybe not. Also, the sports cards have what's called redemption cards is where you can get a card that says, this card is good to redeem for one of whatever. And they could do that with like special arts or maybe res reserve list cards. You could, uh, okay, as guy, they could do redemptions for those. I'm really just spitballing here. But these are all things that could be possible in the future. Goblin, Ninja, Forest, and a Happy Vampire. Little, what is that? I thought it was a misprint. It was just a little piece of, uh, little piece of cardboard or fuzz from the pack. Here we go. We got a zombie. We got an echo. We got a forest and a foil nimble mongoose. Look at it. He's eating the heck out of that snake. With the force of virtue. Tell you what, this box started off hot and it has really slowed down in the last three stacks. The first two stacks did have four mythics, but we should at least have one more left in this box. If it's an average box, another rare sliver. Of course, it could just be a four mythic box. It's possible I've seen three mythic boxes, but we're hoping for a six mythic box. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Snow covered swamp and a goblin engineer. That's pretty average. Last pack for Brad. And then we're gonna move on to Mars. And maybe he can close us out with a bang. We got a lion, we got a swamp, and just a tectonic reformation. So these three last three stacks have been a little underwhelming. So hopefully, there's a mythic left in this stack, and it's a big one. Sarah, a foil tas talisman, that's probably worth a couple bucks. And a force of Viger, another card worth a couple bucks. So that's not too bad of a start. We still have yet to see the Prismatic Vista or the Force of Negation. So maybe that's what's going to show up right here, a silent clearing. Look, like I said, imagine. So I think that's our third Horizon Land. So I think we're about average on those now. Soldier, Soul Herder, Planes, and a Skelemental. And affordable boxes of this set are starting to get harder and harder to find. If you start looking on eBay with these, a mirrored and besieged, you're going to pay after tax, you're going to be well over $200 for any box you find on eBay now. These are starting to either, they're starting to dry up or people are just starting to realize they're worth more money than... They used to be, what is this, a Frostwalk Bastion? That's a really neat looking foil. With another Horizon Land, a Sunbaked Canyon. So we at least got two Horizon Lands in the stack. I think that puts us at four for the box, which is pretty strong. But we didn't get any of the big hitters, unless there's one hiding in this last pack. All right, we got an Illusion. We got a Sword. We got a Plains. Is it a Mythic? Nope, it's just a Rare. And it's a Sisse Weatherlight Captain.
So nothing amazing there. Not a terrible stack because we got the two Horizon Lands. Well, that's it for the day, guys. Like, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment so you can get in the giveaways. Um, and just think about what these VIP packs could contain. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm on the right track? Let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you for joining me again. See you next time.